Hi, we are team Holographic Muse and our project for Art Hack is called Magic Mirror. I'm just going to introduce the team. This is Fabio, my name is Ria, this is Chris and this is Sophie. So for Art Hack, we had proposed to build a miniature holographic light box that uses the Muse headset to control the lighting of, of a hologram while creating a personal revelation for the user based on their brain waves. I'm just going to do a quick run through of our process. It kind of roughly corresponds to our four sessions at Artahack. Step one was for us to actually make the physical holograms. Sophie and I have been learning how to make holograms at a residency that we're doing at the Hollow Center in Governors Island. So that was kind of feeding into what we were doing at Artahack. The next step was to actually connect the Muse uh, to the Raspberry Pi and the lights. Moving forward was to actually solder the lights and we were using them to see if we could actually light up the holograms uh, to get the results that we were hoping for. And then to control the lights with our minds after hooking it up to the Muse. And finally was to build the actual physical uh, light box as the prototype. So as we touched on, the tools and materials we used include the Raspberry Pi, which is uh, a great hardware interfacing board. Uh, we used the Muse headset. You saw uh, the open BCI headset from the first team. And this is similar to that, but just a little bit different. And we piped through a laptop to the Raspberry Pi and hooked up to some LEDs and made a light box with it. Uh, so the way it works really is we took the Muse, it outputs uh, a range of brain waves. The brain waves run through five different frequency ranges, alpha, beta, gamma, theta, delta, not in that order. And we wanted to explore what it would be like to visualize somebody achieving a state of focused relaxation and kind of coming into not just a digital display, but a more physical realization of that. So we brought it into an open frameworks application that we made custom and piped it out to the Raspberry Pi, where we made the LEDs flicker and go into red, bright, passionate colors when you're not focused and then slowly mellow out through the rainbow spectrum to a soft, stable blue when you are relaxed. And some of the roadblocks that we found on the way. Very interesting was that the holograms didn't work. Although that was the initial proposal, we were gonna use holograms, turns out that it's quite hard to do it if you don't have the right resources. And we just decided that it was okay, so we went with another way and we decided to put in the objects that we were supposed to make hologram with inside of the box. Another of the issue we had was the fact that the Muse does not work on the Raspberry Pi, which was our hardware. So we had to use something where it worked, which was a Linux machine or Windows machine, but not the Raspberry Pi. And lastly, we had to rebuild the setup several times. Sometimes the LEDs were missing, sometimes the Raspberry Pi was missing, sometimes <laughs> the software was different because somebody else used it, but it was okay. <laughs> the fifth time, it took us a very short amount of time to do it. So a key part of this project is that we are leveraging the incredibly strong feedback loop that is the mirror and gazing at yourself with the very advanced but also very simplistic technology that is the Muse EEG headset. And those two things together, we're hoping create quite a revelatory experience where you kind of understand yourself a little bit more by interacting with this piece and being with it. So we're going to continue developing this project. And um, I actually have a hologram printed this morning that is looking very good. So uh, just find me while I'm walking around and I can show it to you. Um, and they are available to see uh, Fridays or Saturdays or Sundays, so just come by Governor's Island and explore. After the, this talk, you can try it out in the small room over there. So please come find us.